The Fox and the Hedgehog This fable has the distinction of being the very earliest one attributed to Aesop which is on record. It is found in the philosopher Aristotle's rhetoric. It refers there to people embezzling from the state. Quite detailed and conflicting biographies of Aesop exist, but there is no assurance that any of the material in them is at all accurate. He is said to have been black, which is what his name means, and to have been born in Greece or Asia about 620 BC. 2,000 years or so later, his fables were published by Caxton in England. They had been printed around the same time in Greek and Latin. The Greeks, Hindus and Egyptians have all been credited with the invention of the fable, and very many of those ascribed to Aesop are from other sources. Some people think that the first ever was the parable of Jotham in the Bible, Judges chapter 9 verses 7 to 15, and the supposedly Aesopian fable of the lion and the mouse is found in an ancient Egyptian papyrus. Aesop was certainly famous enough for Aristophanes to feature his teachings as being part of oral learning, and Socrates himself is said to have versified some of the stories. Incidents from the supposed life of the fabulist have been grafted upon a wide variety of people. They adhere to the name of the Dominican monk Etienne of Bourbon, who presented them for preachers in the 14th century. They are in the Arab Book of Sindabad, in the Old English Tale of Berin, they are credited to Till Eulenspiegel, the German rascal, and they are even found in China as national traditions. A fox, while crossing a river, was driven by the stream into a narrow creek, and lay there for a long time trapped. He was covered with a multitude of horseflies which had fastened themselves upon him. It so happened that a hedgehog, wandering in the area, saw the unhappy condition of the fox, and called out to him, Would you like me to drive away those flies which are tormenting you so much? But the fox begged the hedgehog to do nothing of the sort. The hedgehog was surprised. Why not? it asked. Because, replied the fox, the flies which are sticking on to me now are already full, and are not drawing very much more blood. If you were to remove them, a swarm of fresh and hungry ones would descend, and they would not leave a drop of blood in my body.